Hey everyone, if you like our content and want to help us grow our channel, you can support us on Patreon where you also get exclusive behind the scenes content. Otherwise, follow us on these social media platforms where you can help support us. A little goes a long way. Enjoy the rest of this video. Type ones. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of the prototype guns that Arthur just brought for me. Uh, can you me to Yeah. 就你可以用中文，然后我翻译。那他，我想一下，这个这个是目前来讲的设计的。嗯，so it's a during a design sort of process. Um, it's not a final product. So um, in uh, Taiwan, it looks like three D printing is quite popular to design your products, so they can test it and uh, uh, basically see how it works. So this one's in the sort of design sort of process. And now, uh, what gun is this? Uh, we call uh, um, MLC LTR, LTR uh, Light Tactical Sniper Rifle. Oh. Okay. So uh, oh. this stock uh, was a folding stock still on a prototype. Uh, what we're already on the market is the, um, the It's like a scope mount but yeah. with an uh, adjustable dial on the top for your pop up. The front mount, sorry, I, I, front I, I, mount. I totally forgot the name. Front mount but with the pop up TDC. TDC, yeah. Bell. And Coolest the, TDC, you can adjust it straight on the go. Yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the front rail, the light front rail with the MLOX spec. Oh, so that's the an extension. Want. Yep. So what about this one here? <coughs> Sorry. Our maple leaf, um, MLC LTR, the black one, the folding sniper rifle. So this one and the gun previously are the same? Yes. Yep, so it's just a different uh, stock. Just a different stock. Right? And this is already I see. Yeah. With the uh, inner barrel will be uh, 3 OC, 3 OC mm, okay? But, and, uh, <coughs> with a 30-round, 30 30-round 30 mag inside. But with a very cool feature, I will show it for you. Because a lot of VSR bolt cannot remove very quickly. Now we have the quickly button, just like a real fire here. With a push down here, the spring guy's double will drop. You hear that? Stop. Then press it here again. You can. Sorry. Go here. Move about. Okay. The traditional or original Tokyo Mario stock. Sorry. Tokyo Mario VSI cannot do that as quick. If I want to pull it back again, press down here. And same time, put down the trigger. And uh, the the lever safety here, the lever safety. Okay, hold it. Push it for three at the same time. Hold the bolt. Now upside down. Okay, the spring guy stop inside. And hold it here again. Press down. Then the. Guys, okay, stop, drop in, and lock the bolt in place. Yes. <clears throat> there you go. That's so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a very easy, sim uh, simple system, um, very easy to detach and uh, reassemble. How much does that go for in uh, Taiwan? How much go worth it? Will be 1,000? No, no, no. 10,000? 10,500. Ah. So that's really cool. So it's all pre-upgraded internally, CNC trigger. Yes. Yeah. Oh. And uh, that one here? That's your personal one? Uh, yes, but uh, we can sell the, the Super Show Secret version of the outer barrel. And this is my... So you can sell you can sell the barrel uh, you sell the barrel separately? Yes, yes you, yep. but people can buy it and... Um, you can buy it and build, build out if you want. This like layout. Just like a solar rifle, but I was a bullet trigger. Yeah, so um, if you want, you can buy a shoulder barrel and customize your... Uh, sorry, this is the MLT 
uh, LT LTR 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 yeah and then shorten it to that sort of length mm. great for CQB maybe <laughs> <laughs> this this chest is all this layout is very popular in Japan mm. because the Japan is doing a the velocity limit will be low, pretty low. Yes. Yeah, you know, so this this layout will be pretty suitable. Mm. Suitable for uh, airsoft air airmen in Japan. I see. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. I absolutely love the short configuration because it's actually used by a lot of um, uh, tactics group like uh, police units uh, for urban scenarios, and that's just absolutely perfect. Yeah, so just speaking to Arthur, um, the uh, LTR model is actually uh, one of the models that they've been working on with the expansions. Um, so we saw the base models and this one is one of the prototype working models, which they're looking to expand um, to make it a more sort of a versatile model. So you can um, you know, expand it with a longer barrel, with more rail guides, uh, with a, a, a more um, sniper oriented stock or DMR stock. Um, and pretty much uh, uh, I think that would be the model to go for if you want that versatility in uh, changing it up. So it doesn't matter if it's for uh, over in scenarios or for the bush, um, I think that works really well. But um, this is the uh, new uh, snug shot magazine gasket which uh, goes on the top. And um, these are the results that they have um, for their tests. It looks like it's doing really well. So the top one is the original um, um, gaskets. The bottom one is deer gasket. So the uh, muzzle velocity, this is based on meters per second. Um, they only vary about one to two. So uh, we're gonna actually test that as well. So it's just this one. Mm -hmm.